the darker link between ancient human sacrifice and our modern world. In Japan, it was said that sacrificing a woman at a rushing river would placate the spirit who lived there, allowing for the construction of bridges and the safe passage of boats. In Greek myth, the warrior King Agamemnon decides to kill his own daughter in exchange for a favorable wind on the way to Troy. The Egyptians buried some of their pharaohs with dozens of servants when they died, ensuring that their needs would still be met in the afterlife. Bodies found may have been slain as gifts for higher powers. The great civilizations of Mesoamerica killed people, smashed food and sank treasure to pay their debts to their gods. The ancients could kill you in a million different ways and give you a million different reasons why it needed to be done. In much of the pre-modern world, ritual sacrifice was framed as necessary for the good of the society at large. The only way to guarantee, say, a plentiful harvest or success in war. That finding might seem intuitive. Societies in which some members are habitually killed probably value certain lives over others. But it has broader implications. The researchers suggest a darker link between religion and the evolution of modern hierarchical societies they write, in which ritual killings helped humans transition from the small egalitarian groups of our ancestors and the large, stratified societies we live in today. But the priests and rulers who sanctioned such killings may have had another motive. A new study suggests, the practice of human sacrifices tended to make societies increasingly less egalitarian and eventually gave rise to strict, inherited class systems. In other words, ritual killings helped keep the powerful in power and everyone else in check. <laughs> 